So I really wanted an efficient method for like a three kilogram or even a five kilogram spool to work with my Elegoo Orange Storm Giga. Uh, so I've got this old Creality mount that I was using with my bigger Creality printer. I've got a, um, a laser cutter. So I'm gonna use some half inch acrylic. I've designed a place to mount the uh, mount holes. I've got a place you can see here to mount the filament runout detector. I've got a place so I can zip tie some cables to, and then on the edge, either or, I've got a zip tied area so you can just zip tie to this the printer. It was kind of important to me to not drill into the printer body. Um, I didn't want something permanent. I wanted something I could just kind of mount with some really strong zip ties. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay some half inch uh, acrylic into our laser and start cutting it. Now half inch acrylic is obviously pretty thick. Uh, we've got 150 watt lasers here at the shop. And I think this entire process took about 45 minutes. I still find it weird that Elegoo didn't include a big filament holder um, or at least somewhere to mount it on top in the middle where the was, thing wasn't gonna get all jammed up. I've seen a lot of people complaining about this because the filament holder Elego gives you with the Orange Storm Giga is literally just for a standard one kilogram roll. So roughly 40 minutes passed, pop out that acrylic from our laser and the actual piece is finished. It's gonna knock all the pieces out of it and there you go, you've got all the cuts designed that I had designed in CAD. And I'm gonna bring it over to my shop next and start working on this. So. Basically, like I said, I had that Creality uh, spool holder. So I'm gonna take the sides off it. I don't need the base, but I mimic the holes um, in the actual acrylic that I have here. So I'm gonna unscrew this. Not really a perfect tool for this. I didn't have any M2 Allen key with me. So I've kind of got <laughs> these all-in-one Allen keys, which are a real pain in the butt to get into tight spaces, but I ended up getting them off anyway. And they have three screws on each of these posts, but I'm only using two screws. Now in hindsight, you'll see once I actually drill this and tap this, um, I didn't make the holes big enough to start tapping in the acrylic, so I ended up stripping it and I ended up having to kind of glue these down anyway. But in the end, all I cared about was, you know, the final product getting it working uh, so I didn't have to keep changing my filament out every time. So what I'm doing here is I'm just drilling out some bigger holes so I can mount those, uh, those rail holders that I took apart from the Creality um, filament holder and then I'm just test fitting the screws that again came with a Creality filament holder which I think are M4 thread and then I can take my screws and thread them right into the acrylic but like I said already a couple times is I kind of over threaded them and they kind of ended up getting a little bit wonky in hindsight I would have made the holes bigger or I would have used uh, the brass knurled inserts to press into the acrylic and then actually screwed into those Next thing I'm gonna do is turn this thing over and put the, uh, the runout filament sensor on. Now these screws that come, the runout filament sensor comes with are really small, so I just heated it up because what that's gonna do is it's really gonna melt the acrylic as I screw into it. Um, I probably should be wearing a mask at this point. You can see all that kind of acrylic melting there. But once that's set and in there, it's essentially threading the screw for you. And you can see that runout sensor is mounted at the bottom here, which is gonna work uh, almost as well or just as well as it would from the factory uh, setup that the Elegoo printer has. And here I'm just reinforcing um, those poorly you know, set screws uh, with some hot glue. Definitely could have avoided this in the future. This is literally my first time at it. And in the end it works out, but there's some definitely cleaner ways I could have done this, but you know, I'm just making this video to show you guys what I did for my solution. Um, I see a lot of people that are trying to use like PVC pipe or ABS pipe and stuff and that causes some issues with the, the runout sensor and stuff. I'm going ahead and gonna mount this. You can see it's basically 48 inches wide, which is the carriage uh, width of the printer. And I didn't wanna drill into this thing or screw into the printer. So I've got some like super thick zip ties and I created those voids in the design so I can literally just run the zip ties right through and around the body. And where this thing's positioned, I can't see really the print head getting that high up unless I'm doing like the absolute maximum height that this printer will um, accommodate. And I don't really plan on doing that. So it wasn't really a, a big deal for me to have this in the middle. Um, I really don't see the print head impacting it on any design that I'm gonna be working on with this printer. This is literally just a spool holder. Um, that I modified for the Creality thing and it's just a it's like a cylinder 3d printed cylinder with some threaded uh, holes at the end that match the Creality um, match the Creality filament holders and I'm just kind of measuring it out so I can get the position of the 
filament runout sensor essentially centered in the printer because I want it as centered as possible. I don't really care where the spool holder is necessarily, but where the actual filament's coming down, I want it as close to center as possible, which I think was like 14 and a quarter inch um, in that gap from the back there. Once I've set that up, I can just go ahead and uh, tighten all the zip ties and then I'll just uh, clip them off with some, uh, some scissors. Now this half inch acrylic is pretty thick, but it still does flex a little bit, uh, not to the point that it's gonna break. Um, it's Like I said, it's half inch acrylic, it's fairly strong. If you're really pressed on it, I'm sure it would probably you know, snap or crack, but um, loading four, three, four, five kilogram filament rolls, it's not gonna be an issue. And then I've got the runout sensor wires I just pulled from the aluminum channels and then I'm gonna get some zip ties just to clean that up and zip tie them in a second. But I've got my roll coming out here and you can see I'm gonna detach the, the cylinder that I printed earlier, which I didn't have in this video, but it's a pretty basic cylinder with, with two threaded holes in the back on the, on the edges. And then I've got a M6 threaded knob to keep it in place. Got it through the runout sensor and I'm just gonna clip the edge of this to get the fold out and then I'm gonna run it into the extruder. And you can see it holds that um, filament roll really, really nice with very little friction. And then you can see hopefully at the back here where I'm taking the filament, uh, sorry, the runout filament, the filament sensor runout wires that are spare and then just zip tying them to keep them out of the way. So I really only need uh, one of those ends, uh, which I ran to the, the sensor that's on the piece of acrylic that I made here. And that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, once you've mounted the, the roll to it, it's super easy to just pop that roll off. It's pretty strong. It flexes, like I said, a little bit, but it really does exactly what I want it to. It keeps the filament high, keeps the thing centered, um, and I can finally get rid of this stupid orange thing that the machine comes with that only supports one kilogram filament uh, rolls because basically everything I'm printing with this thing is requiring more than one kilogram of filament. And it's a real pain in the butt to have to switch it halfway through the print. So now I can use these big uh, three kilogram oh, poly maker, not Creality, the poly light uh, poly maker filament on this printer without issues and keeping it centered, which means I'm also going to have uh, less kind of tendency to, to snag up if it's going on like a tight angle, which some people have reported with taller prints. I don't print anything really, really tall with this, or at least not yet. So I haven't experienced that, but I could see that being an issue with the location of the factory one kilogram filament holder. And you can see here, everything's working fine, everything's moving, gantry's moving, head's moving, and I'm about to start a print. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, I'm kind of working on things intermittently, and I'm gonna be spending more time on this YouTube channel in 2025.